All right, we've got Old Tech CEO Lee Steising. You just heard him on TV outside the White House a few seconds ago. He joins us right now. Sir, very good to have you. Great uh, to be here. You sounded very encouraged uh, uh, about that meeting. Um, I'm wondering, was there an extra spring in your step when it looks like this uh, import tax isn't going to happen? I'm not saying that that wouldn't be beneficial to your industry, but that it's not going to happen now, so the great debate on it is over. It would seem. What do you think? Well, I guess let, let, let me start first and foremost by, by just telling you how positive what's happening here with the administration and his team is for American business yeah, and most importantly uh, the, uh, the American people because he's focused on creating jobs throughout this country and the, the team that was put together and the enthusiasm and the outreach um, is really unprecedented. In fact, there's been more outreach by this administration in the last, in the, in the first 30 days than there was during the past eight years of the well, previous in administration. Your case, in your case, and you know, uh, you make equipment for the electric and telecommunications business, a far flung uh, conglomerate you, you run there, obviously. And then I'm wondering if you've given, or the president has asked you to give him time. Um, uh, in other words, if you're thinking about laying off workers, I don't know what your own plans are, sir. But, but I, the message that I hear that he gives at these meetings is uh, give me time. Don't do anything rash. Don't start jettisoning workers. Uh, is that a message that comes up? It's definitely a message. I mean, it's not about. I mean, it's about growing jobs. It's the opposite of that. I mean, this is a, this is very positive and encouraging. So, just let me give you a little background. We broke out into individual workout groups. The vice president was involved. Um, the secretary of treasury, the secretary of transportation, all the, the the president, all the top leadership, Jared, Ivanka, all the top leadership in the administration was there helping facilitate, saying we want to work together with business to to create jobs throughout America. And it's one of the most uplifting experiences I've been associated with. Now, um, obviously, a lot of your colleagues uh, have been waiting on this regulatory relief. It's a big problem for you. You've addressed it, I know, many times in the past. Also, tax cuts, uh, they, they're still coming. They might be pushed back a little bit, might be, uh, uh, when all is said and done, uh, a fiscal year 18 event than 17. Who knows? But. Uh, if, if the rates uh, didn't come down as quickly as you wanted or didn't come down as much as, you, uh, let's say, even the president wants, how would you feel about that? In other words, he wants a top rate or a or, or, or low rate for corporations of 15 percent. It might be 20 percent, might be even higher than that, but still substantially lower than what it is now. Do you have a sweet spot? Well, I, I think, you know, clearly the, 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 you have to begin with where are business taxes in the U.S. relative to our global competitors. And it's a, it's a clear disadvantage for American business. And so, you know, when, when you, you know, obviously lower is better. Um, in terms of freeing up capital to reinvest in America. Um, but we're most focused on the fact that, look, it's been 30 years since there's been substantial changes to the tax code. And, and this is a, a unique opportunity to put American competitiveness back on a global front. It seems like you're saying that a 20% rate is still a lot better than a nearly 40% rate, and, and, and you'd be okay with that. Well, I, you know, clearly, we, you know, the, the, you're, you're talking about major, major dollars, but the most important is the fact that we're, we're addressing business taxes across the board and saying, how do we help make the U.S. more competitive? And ultimately, how, how, how can the president and his team create more jobs? Have you changed anything? financial plans based on what the president has been indicating and promising. In other words, uh, do you change your posture with the, 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 the big cuts in taxes that the president is, is, is setting goals for, mo or do you definitely. hold off? No, mo most definitely. I mean, you know, we, you know th this administration is committed to making these changes. There's clear momentum. Uh, within the country to to address uh, the over-regulation of government. I mean, if you look at just regulatory pullback, pulling back overreach of regulation, you're looking at a at 100 basis point potential impact on annual GDP. 
I mean, you, you can't, I mean, the, the, the economic impact, I mean, look at the impact of the stock market, look yeah. at consumer confidence. I mean, right now, there is a lot of incredible enthusiasm because business, it's okay to be in business today, whereas it used to be, uh, you know, almost a, a you know, a, a bad word. And so that kind of change in culture has created incredible momentum uh, within this country and is going to be fantastic, most importantly, for the American worker. And, and those that are, have held, had part-time jobs, the opportunity to have full-time employment through initiatives in terms of workforce participation and uh, workforce education. So we talked about, most importantly, four main areas, workforce of the future, deregulation, infrastructure, and tax and trade. So those were the four main breakout groups. And, and I mean, if you look at just the economic impact of deregulation, um, I mean, once again, you know, huge, huge impact, conservatively 100 basis points of GDP annualized growth. Um, wow. And then, and, then if, and then if you look at, you know, infrastructure, and you say, okay, infrastructure spend, if you do a three to one for every dollar you spend in, in infrastructure, you get a three time positive impact in terms of uh, GDP growth. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's yeah, that really. Is, that is if you get the infrastructure thing. We'll, we'll see. All yeah, right, Lee yeah. Tyson, I want to thank you very, very much. Very good thank having you. you.